Sebastian Middle Martinez MMA Nate here with Bellator bantamweight champion Darian Caldwell. So uh, Darian, you uh, you have a big fight coming up. You're facing Kyoji Haraguchi in Bellator 222. Uh, looking back now, I'm sure you've had some time to digest the fight a little bit. And uh, you know, how how do you look back on that fight and and your overall performance, sir? I think my performance was an F. You know, I got tapped out and and I didn't win the fight. So I, the performance was definitely a bad performance. Uh, wasn't my best performance, uh, but it wasn't my best training camp either. It was. It wasn't like I wasn't. Really, uh, and didn't know I, I, I struggled throughout camp, so um, I think I took the time uh, these past six months and really focused on what I needed to do to make sure uh, come come next time I step in that cage is is right time for this guy. And one thing that uh, some people brought up, which I thought was interesting, was uh, the difference of cage versus ring. Uh, do you feel like that affected the fight and uh, and the way that the potential outcome could be? With the ring? Yeah, that it uh, perhaps impacts certain think, aspects think, of MMA. Absolutely. Um, you know, um, I think uh, th my game plan for this guy is uh, a lot different in a cage as opposed to a ring. So um, I think you're going to see the adjustments made uh, from the ring to the cage uh, next Friday, you know? And looking at your opponent, Kyoji Horiguchi, he's obviously very high regarded in um, in Asia, and and he had a great stint in the UFC. Uh, ranking him against your previous opponents, how how highly do you rank him as an opponent and this fight overall? Oh, Kyo Kyoji is definitely the best guy I've fought so far. You know, uh, he's a uh, he's a world champion for a reason. You know, and so. Uh, a guy like him is, is, is good for my legacy. You know, it's good to have a guy like Jose, which is a top five band weight in the world, top three flyweight in the world, you know. Now that you say, you say you're changing parts of a game plan for a fight, I, obviously I'm, you're not going to uh, get into details, but... Uh, in what ways would you say that uh, Horiguchi is beatable, like matching up your style versus his, and what adjustments do you feel you need to make? I don't think uh, it's many adjustments that I need to make. Uh, it's just uh, my execution. You know, I just got to be able to execute what I want to do. And uh, I think Carl Gucci is going to do everything in his power to stop me, but uh, I'm going to go out there and run that boy over. Like, it's, he's going to be, he's going to, like, I'm going to fuck this nigga up. Like, it's going down. Like, He's going to get fucked up on June 14th. Like, there's no way he's going to walk out that cave the same day. And is there a sense of, like, revenge or something like that? Seeing as, you know, there were aspects that... Absolutely. Yeah. I hate losing, you know? I'm, like, I'm I'm really competitive. You know, I grew up with a bunch of brothers, and so we always had to fight for, for everything, you know? And so uh, I, was, I was raised this. You know, you get knocked down, you, you brush yourself back off, and you go, you go harder, you know. So that's what you're going to see. You're going to see um, the guy who got knocked down, and he comes back even harder. And there are always lessons to take from each fight. If you were to perhaps simplify, what would you say is the biggest lesson that you learned from that fight coming into this rematch? Focus on your legacy and everything else will fall into place. All right, excellent. Well, it's a fantastic fight. Uh, I'm sure f fight fans around the world are looking forward to it. Uh, that's Bellator 222. Yeah, thank you very much for the time, and uh, good luck in the rematch. Appreciate you, sir.